Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to online class of Kishorvans Government Boys High School. This is Muhammad Abul Kashim, Assistant Teacher English. Today I am going to take a class on English grammar. My today's topic is uh, sentence according to structure for the students of class 9 and 10. First of all, we have to know what is a sentence. A group of words or terms which have a specific order and a complete sense is called a sentence. For example, Jamal saw a snake. How are you? Stop writing. May Allah bless you. How nice the dress is. So this sentence has a specific order and a complete sense. So this uh, type of arrangement of words or terms is called sentence. According to structure, we can classify a sentence in three ways. They are simple sentence, complex sentence, compound sentence. For example, simple sentence, Jamal eats rice, complex sentence, Jamal eats a type of food which is rice, compound sentence, Jamal eats a type of food and it is rice. So these, are, these three sentences are the example of a simple, complex and compound sentence. So let's see what is a simple sentence. A simple sentence has a subject and a finite verb. That is a sentence which has a subject and a finite verb is called a simple sentence. For example, taking dinner, tossing wine to bed. Here, tassin is a subject, wine is a finite verb. The weather being cold, halal put on warm clothes. Here, halal is a subject, put on is a finite verb. Joshim Jasmine drives the car slowly. Here Jasmine is a subject and drives is a finite verb. So taking dinner, tossing wine to bed, the weather being cold, halal put on warm clothes, Jasmine drives the car slowly. These three sentences has have uh, has only one subject and a finite verb. So the sentence which has only one subject and a finite verb is called simple sentence. So what is a finite verb? A finite verb changes its form according to subjects and tenses. A finite verb is called a verb of multiforms. The verb who has a multiforms are called finite verb. A finite verb changes its form according to subject and tenses.
Now we have to learn complex sentence and compound sentence. But before learning complex sentence or compound sentence, we have to learn about clauses. So, what is a clause? A clause is a part or a portion of a sentence which has a subject and a finite verb. A clause may have a complete sense or may not have a complete sense. Kinds of clauses There are two types of clauses, independent clause, it is also called a coordinate clause, dependent clause, it also called it is also called subordinate clause. So independent clause has a complete sense. Dependent clause uh, doesn't have a complete sense. So the clause which has a complete sense and it doesn't depend on other clauses for the meaning or complete a sense it is called independent clause and the clause which depends on other clauses especially independent clause uh, for completing its sense it is called dependent clause so what is an independent clause So it is a clause which has a subject and a finite verb and it, it can express a complete sense independently. For example, Hatem is honest though he is poor. Here Hatem is honest is an independent clause. Jamal will help you if you help. Kamal. Here, Jamal will help you is an independent clause. As the thief saw a policeman, he hid behind the bush. Here, he hid behind the bush is an independent clause. So, an independent clause can uh, has a subject and a finite verb and it can express a complete sense. Here, Hatim is honest. Hatim is a subject and is a here verb to be, that is finite verb. So, Hatim is honest is, a, is an independent clause. Jamal will help you, help you is an independent clause. He hid behind the bush is an independent clause. They are independent clause, clauses because they have a complete, they have a complete uh, sense or meaning. Now dependent clause. It is a clause which has a subject and a finite verb, but it cannot express a complete sense itself independently. It depends on the independent clause for completing a sense. So a dependent clause cannot express its meaning without depending on independent clause. Look at the example, Hatim is honest, though he is poor. Here, though he is poor, is an is a dependent clause. Jamal will help me if you help Kamal. Here, if you help Kamal, is a dependent clause. As the thief saw a police, he hid behind the bush. Here, as the thief saw a police, is a dependent clause. They are dependent clauses because they depend on independent clause for completing a sense or completing a meaning. Uh, 
now subordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunction conjunctions are important uh, things for learning a clause so before going to learn about complex and compound sentences we have to learn subordinating conjunctions as well as coordinating conjunctions so what is a uh, subordinating or what is subordinating conjunctions so a dependent or subordinate clause contains a subordinating conjunction that is a subordinating conjunction makes a clause dependent that is the uh, the clause which contains a subordinating conjunctions uh, it is called a dependent clause so a list of subordinating conjunctions so look at the list of a uh, subordinating uh, subordinating conjunctions after all do as as if as long as as much as as soon as as though because before even even if even though if if only if when if then in as much as in order that just as least now now since now that now when once provided provided that rather than since so that supposing then that though till unless until when whenever where whereas where if wherever whether which why who whom whose whoever why etc are called subordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunctions make a clause dependent so before learning complex sentence we have to know what are subordinating conjunctions what is the function of a subordinating conjunction so students are advised to learn this uh, subordinating conjunctions from the list now coordinating conjunctions we use coordinating conjunctions uh, to join independent two independent clauses or similar clauses coordinating conjunctions refers to compound sentences so we have to learn coordinating conjunctions to learn about compound sentences a coordinate clause contains a coordinating conjunction that is a coordinating conjunction joins two or more similar clauses so every compound sentence contains a coordinating conjunctions there are seven coordinating conjunctions they are for and nor but or yet so so these uh, seven uh, conjunctions are called coordinating conjunctions some coordinating conjunctions who behave like a coordinating conjunctions are both and not only but also either or neither nor not because but because as else so these are the uh, coordinating conjunctions we use them to make a compound sentence so students are told to 
learn these seven coordinating connections and these correlative connections. Now complex sentence. So what is a complex sentence? A sentence which has an independent and a dependent clause that is a sentence which contains a subordinate connection is called a complex sentence. Look at the example. She became fatty as she ate a lot of fat. Here she became fatty is an independent clause. As she ate a lot of fat is a dependent clause. Jamal is honest though he is poor. Here Jamal is honest is an independent clause. Though he is poor is a dependent clause. Here yes and though are subordinating connections. So thus uh, she became fatty as she ate a lot of fat. Jamal is honest though he is poor. These two sentences are complex sentences and they have two clauses. Uh, one is independent clause, another is dependent clause. So the sentence which has an independent and a dependent clause or a sentence which contains a subordinate connection here as and though are subordinate connections is called a complex sentence. Now compound sentence. A sentence which has at least two similar clauses and been joined by a coordinating connection that is a sentence which contains a coordinating connection is called a compound sentence. So a compound sentence uh, has at least two similar clauses. It may be independent clauses or dependent clauses. And uh, two similar clauses, if two similar clauses are joined by a coordinating connection, uh, this is called a compound sentence. Look at the example, she ate a lot of fat and became fatty. Here she ate a lot of fat and she became fatty. These two independent clauses are joined by AND, coordinating conjunction AND. Jamal is poor but honest. Here Jamal is poor and Jamal is honest. These two independent clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction BUT. Here and and butter coordinating connection. So she ate a lot of fat, she became fatty. Uh, these two clauses clauses are similar. They are independent clauses. Jamal is poor, Jamal is honest. Here two clauses are similar. They are here two clauses are, clauses are independent and both the clauses are joined by but. Here she ate a lot of fat, she became fatty are joined by a coordinating connection and so this type of sentences or this type of uh, types of clauses which are connected or joined by coordinating connections are called compound sentences. So today is no more. Thanks for watching the class. My next class will be on transformation of sentence according to structure that is simple to complex
or to compound sentence. Wait until then. Thank you.